Hi, I'm Brian Litz with Apply Ballistics. I want to talk about moisture and smokeless rifle powder today. Um, so I think a lot of things that happen with gunpowder may, uh, that happen with shooting and hand loads may have this very problem at the foundation end and you don't realize it's going on. Um, you know, for example, if you buy a jug of Varget, for example, and you go through that jug and you start another jug, you might notice that it burns different or you need a different charge to get the same velocity. And the logical conclusion a lot of shooters come to is, well, it's a different lot, so it burns different and there's a lot of lot variation. Well, that might be true, but what might also be true is that the powder is actually the same, but the second jug has a different moisture content than the first jug. And that's very likely since once you break the seal on a jug, that powder starts to acclimate to whatever your environmental ambient humidity is. Uh, for example, if your powder comes packaged at 60% relative humidity and you keep it in a very dry environment, say 20 or 30%, and with that seal broken, that powder acclimates over time, you know, weeks and months, acclimates from 60 down to 30% humidity, well, that'll change a great deal the way that it burns. And so let's say you get to the end, by the time you're at the end, you're burning 30% powder, humidity powder, and you open another jug, even if it's the powder composition is identical, but is again back to that 60% humidity being out of a new jug, you're gonna see a very big difference in how it burns. So with that understanding, um, we have ways of keeping track of and controlling the humidity, the moisture content of our powder. So one of the things that we do, uh, this is a test scenario, is two different jugs of powder, and in these different jugs, we've placed humidity packs that will actually control the humidity to a certain amount. It'll either add or subtract moisture to hold the moisture content constant. Uh, they're made for cigars. Uh, you can get them in different percentages. This one's a 49%. It's what's in this one right here. Now, in addition to putting that in to control the humidity, we also have a way of monitoring it. The Kestrel Drop uh, records temperature, pressure, humidity, and you can see it output on a smartphone display. So this is the history of the humidity in this powder jug. Um, it's right about at 48.5%. It's got a 49% control in it. So we can monitor this. Uh, it's a Bluetooth connection. So if you're in the area, you can monitor the humidity in each of your powder jugs. And the point of this test, we have a 49% control in one and a 62% in another and these are the same lot of powder. So what we can demonstrate with this is how, let's say a uh, charge 133 grains of H50 BMG is for a 375 enabler cartridge with a 407 grain bullet. So with that combination, we'll be able to show the difference in relative humidity of the powder, how that manifests as a difference in muzzle velocity and anything else that you might see different pressure, um, fouling characteristics, whatever is related to the moisture in the powder starts with controlling that variable and then you do the test to see what effects it has. So just thought it would be interesting for some, uh, some shooters to see how we A, control the moisture content of our powder and B, monitor it. Um, sometimes you can leave this pack in this jug of powder on the top and it may take a long time to permeate down through and that's where, you know, with the drop in there, you shake it up and it'll find its way down through the powder column and um, hopefully give you a representative reading of what's in there. But that's uh, just a, a tidbit of uh, one of the ways that we uh, regard our powder at the Applied Ballistics Lab.